Uh, this is USACO solution video at gold level. Uh, this problem called snakes. This is 2019 US Open uh, gold problem. Today, in the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to um, discuss this snake problem. Actually, this is a dynamic programming problem, uh, a common testing uh, problems in gold level. We're going to go through how to construct, construct the DP state, how to initialize the DP value, and how to do the most importantly, how to do the DP transition. At the end, we're going to give the C solutions. Okay, this is the problem as snakes. So you can see uh, they have a bunch of snakes uh, into different group. Uh, you want to have a net and to catch all these snakes. Right? So you can change the net two times. You can have six group of snakes, but you want to change net two times. Okay, so this is going to be our analysis. Uh, you can see at the beginning, this first group has seven snake, a nine snake, eight, two, three, and two, right? So if we want to add all snakes together, it's going to be 31, right? So again, there's too many ways because you can change the snake. Um, you can just using the biggest net all the time, you're going to be using nine, right? You have to catch the biggest group. So that's going to be six uh, different group. You're going to be six multiplied by nine, you're going to 54. 54 is you're going to use nine at the beginning using all the time without changing any net, right? So 54 minus 31, your solution is going to be uh, something like 23. It's way too big, right? So the optimal solution is going to be three here, right? You're going to change in. The first one, you're going to keep seven. The next two, you're going to use nine. The next three, you're going to be using three. So the only difference is one plus one plus one, you know, three. So that's the optimum solutions. Again, at goal level, uh, this type of uh, dynamic programming away is very popular. And uh, at least one DP problems uh, in one uh, gold level computation. So, uh, we're going to see how the DP is going to construct, right? DP is usually a, you have a partial results. You're going to roll that partial best results over until you get the final results. Okay, so here we can see we can have a DP state. What are going to be DP state? You're going to have first each group, how many snakes in that group, right? That's one of the DP state. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, six, right? From one to six. So this is going to be the steps. And then the next state is going to be how many times you're changing uh, the net, right? So we're going to keep uh, a DP state at two, it's one snake count, right? So at beginning, it's going to be seven, then nine, then eight. So that's the count. That's the first dimension of DP array. Then the net, right? At the beginning, zero net change, one net change, two net change. That's going to be a second uh, dimension, right? So this is going to be track all the possibilities. And the DP value we stored is going to be the best so far, right? We're going to have the minimum to keep tracking uh, how it works. So the DP transition is really it's really row in, right? You have DP i and j, this state, from uh, i minus one, j minus one, how are you going to achieve the DP i, j, right? So in this case, if you remember here, what it's saying is, at one state, you're going to have a net. You want to change a net, you want to see that net has to be maximum to be able to catch all the snakes afterwards, right? So that means we need to 
So uh, we need to loop through the max net and multiply the remaining count. Add those things into the DP last state, make it uh, this current state. Okay, so let's uh, give you an example here. Let me show you step by step how the DP works. Right? So at the beginning, I see you have a seven, right? Let's see, we don't have, we don't allow any net change. That means at the beginning, you have a seven, you're going to have, you need a seven snakes, right? Now you see a nine. You're going to using the bigger net can catch nine snakes. So it means you're going to be 18 because this 18 is really counting by catching the first seven and the second nine, right? Now, because this is the biggest one, you don't have any net change. So if you catch three snakes, you're going to have 27, right? Then the four and all the way to all six is going to be 54, which is nine multiplied by six. So that means if without any net change, you're going to use the biggest net, which is nine, six times. The total is going to be 54, right? So this is going to be our base. So that's, this is going to be our initialized version, right? This is going to be our init value of the DP state, right? Secondly, let's see if we allow one net change. So at beginning seven, it's going to be seven, right? On the nine, if we allow to change to a bigger net as one change, the total is going to be 16, which is nine plus seven, right? So it's going to be 16. Here, if we look at the third net, third net snakes, right? It's going to be 20. Uh, that's two ways, right? You're going to change the net at the second place. Right? So it means we're going to have a seven, we're going to have a nine and a nine. The total is going to be nine plus nine plus seven, it's going to be 25, right? It's because we're going to change in the net at the second place. It's going to be total 20, not 25. If we're going to change the net at the third place, we're going to keep this value at 18 and plus eight, it's going to be 26, right? So, if we change the net, apply to the eight, to the third group, we're going to either have 25 or 26. And we're going to choose the minimum of them, it will be 25. Okay, so keep rolling here, right? Then we analyze the, this, this group, only two. We have a similar thing, right? We're going to change the net once, we're going to change the net at this place. So that means we're going to have 27, right? We're going to have this three based on nine plus seven, going to total be 34, right? Again, we're going to change the net at this place. We're going to have 18 here plus 16, right? This two is going to be eight. 18 multiply, um, uh, plus 16 is going to be 34, right? We can also change the net here which is we're going to keep the first three as 999, then we keep this two. It's going to be 27 plus two, we're going to be 29. The best answer is 29. So this way, we just again, accumulating. You can see if we want to get one with based on the best value as zero, and accumulating, right? Get the best values. Okay, so here, this is the answer with the best value if we change net once, right? Here, we're going to keep going. If we allow to change net twice, we're going to have this, right? The first one will be seven and 16, right? Never change. It's going to roll from the one net change. On here, 24. 24 is really comes from the catching this 16 plus itself, plus eight, it's going to be 24. So that means we're going to seven, nine, and eight, change that three times, right? The next one is two. We're going to choose where we're going to change that, right? We're going to see, okay, we're going to have six, we're going to have 16, then plus eight and eight, 
right? We're going to change net here and use for two. It's going to be uh, 16 plus 16 and equal to 32. Or we're going to keep the net, the, the first three net, the best value is, is 25, right? Then we change net at two, it's going to be 25 plus two, 27. So this way we're going to roll again, you can see the, the change net two is really based on the change net one. Get the best results and analyzing the same, uh, the same way, choose the best, the maximum net and the remaining how many counts using that net, right? So at the end, we can see when it goes through, the best result is 34, right? 34 is really comes from 25 plus nine. 25 it comes from seven plus 18. So it illustrated it's gonna be using the seven, it's for this seven. Nine, nine is for this 18. Three, three, three is for this nine, right? So we got this best answer if we're using DP, keep rolling um, first on the snake counts, then on the net change, then we got this 34, right? We're using 34 minus 31 going this way. Okay, so this is going to be our approach. If you can see that, we just divide and conquer, right? All this DP problem is really a divide and conquer. So basically, you're rolling from zero net change to one net change every time we use the base from the previous best answer and apply the logic. The logic is going to be the max net and plus remaining cut. And keep finding the minimum one, assign the value, and keep using it for one change, two change, three change, etc. Okay, this is a super important. Um, okay, let me show the code real quick. So here is our code. This is our snake code. So if you can see it, what we do, we read in n and k, right? Then we just loop through, we have array, dp array. The first, the first one going to be the snake count. The second one going to be how many ch times we change that, right? So first we're gonna loop through uh, the snake, right? So here we uh, analyze seven first, a nine and two, eight and two and two, three. Right? We'll go one by one, right? So we we'll read in the answer. Then we get the biggest one. High is going to be the biggest one, right? See, we choose nine as the biggest one, right? So at the beginning, so far, the highest, we're going to use it uh, to add DP zero. Is this exactly what showing you here, right? We're using seven, so far the biggest, we're using seven. We find the nine, the biggest one, we're using that to multiply how many count we have, it will be 18, et cetera, right, all the way down. So that's going to be create our base for DP zero arrays, initialize the DP arrays. Then we're going to loop into the change, right? So the change is going to be, you can see, what we do here is we really uh, get, uh, so we're going to look back, right? From the change eight, we're going to see what's going to be used as the base, right? We're going to use um, the B going to be the one, let's see. From here, we're going to check the one before it, right? So we'll just illustrate what we did here, right? So we just uh, have the one, let's see. If I want to have DP2, we're going to use DP1 here multiply the max value can be applied for the remaining value, right? Because B is going to be the one we choose. So if we choose nine, this is going to be the B. So the remaining part is going to be I minus B. So this remaining part always going to use eight at the maximum, right? So this is the way we simulate uh, our approach, right? So this way is going to this is partial best results plus the remaining max multiplied by the, remain, by the remaining counts, right? 
that will keep rolling how many was the max so far, right? So this way we keep keeps uh, looping, we're just simulating this part, right? For each volume, right? For eight, we have two choices. Two, we have three choices because looking back three times, looking back four times, looking back five times, right? So at the end, we also do the count. This is the total count will be here, right? The 31 will be total. So at the end, DPK, which is here, 34, is the best answer, right? We're going to minus that to get the base. All right? So you can see this is exactly the C++ code mapping to our idea here, right? Okay, let's submit to the website. Okay, everything passed. Uh, to recap, for this snake DP problem, uh, we're going to define a state. The count and the net change count is two uh, index. We're going to initialize the DP values, right? With the biggest net across the board, right? So then most importantly, this, this is the transition, right? We're going to loop, have two nets to loop. Loop, loop on the snake count and loop on the net change, right? For each state, it's really have an array to accumulating a loop through the remaining part of the max net multiplied by the remaining count, right? That makes the, uh, the final answer, all right? Okay, uh, this is our online useful training website. Uh, we have 33 useful lessons at bronze, silver, gold, and platinum level. We have 150 hours of Java training videos, and we have 140 hours of C++ training videos, just like this one. Right? Also, we're building up our Python training videos. So far, we have 50 hours. We're going to keep going. Um, our, we our website is usicalcoach.com. And also have a sister website doing the math and other STEM related uh, courses, stemavi.com. So, any interest, please contact us at usicalcoach2018 at gmail.com.